Phillies hosting the Twins, and both of these teams are minus 108 on the money line. The over-under is 8.5 runs, and as of right now, the Twins are the favorite at laying a run and a half at plus 150, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win this game by at least two. And the Phillies getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 182, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win, they lose by one, you win. Lopez obviously has experience against the Phillies when he was with the Marlins. Five and a third, no runs, no earn. They won that game seven and one. He struck out two. That was in Miami. Six and two thirds, two runs, two earn. They won that game five to three. He struck out five. That was also in Miami. The Twins are six and four in his last 10 appearances. They've won his last two. He's averaging six and a third innings pitched and 8.1 strikeouts per game in those games. They are three and two in his last five. He's got an ERA of 2.4, and he's averaging six innings pitched in his last five games overall. No earned runs striking out eight, one earned run striking out five, back-to-back games with two earned runs striking out eight and seven, and then one bad outing, seven earned runs uh, striking out seven in that game. In his last three appearances against the Phillies, he won his last three, so that would probably make a little bit more sense of why he's a favorite. It was with a different team. And the over, which was set at 7.5 and and every one of those games hit. Although, only one game went over 8. It was 8, 8, and then 9. And then 2 earned runs, 5 strikeouts, no earned runs, 2 strikeouts, 1 earned run, 4 strikeouts. That's his last 3 appearances against the Phillies. All of those games were with the Marlins. Walker did not pitch against the Twins either last year or this year. They've won his last three appearances. They are 9-1 in his last 10 games. He's averaging 5 and two-thirds innings pitched and 4.6 strikeouts per game in those games. Head-to-head, the home team's on a two-game winning streak. The home team is 6-4 and four in their last 10. The Phillies are on a two-game winning streak. These teams are 5-5 five and five against each other in their last 10. The favorite's on a two-game winning streak. The favorite is 7-3 and three on the money line. The underdog, however, getting a run and a half on the run line is 7-3. and three. There have been five one-run games in their last 10 meetings. The over-under is 5-5, five and five, and the over-under at 8.5 runs, also 5-5. Five and five. And when I make my picks, I have to be clear, it's based off of the pitchers that you see. And if you see a pitcher that you like overnight, make sure that you select them, because if they change the pitcher, at least you won't lose your bet. Now, the game that they played today, the Phillies crushed the Twins 13-2. In their last handful of games overall, the Twins are on a four-game losing streak. The over-under is 5-5 in their last 10, and they are 5-5 in their last 10. Losing to the Tigers 6-0, losing to the Tigers 9-5, losing to the Tigers 3-0, and then getting spanked today 13-2 by the Phillies. For the Phillies, they're 7-3 in their last 10, 3-1 in their last 4, 6-1 in their last 7. The over is 6-3 in their last 10 games. Losing to the Nationals 5-4, beating the Nationals 7-0, beating the uh, Nationals 6-2, and then crushing the Twins today 13-2. With both of these pitchers on the mound, I really don't think that this game goes over, especially if they're both on. So I'm still a little baffled as to why the Phillies are the underdog in this game, and I imagine that money's prob- a lot of money is probably going to come in on the Phillies. I just like this matchup a little bit better for the Phillies at home with Walker at home. They're 9-1 in his last 10. Phillies with the money line. Phillies getting the runs, and I'm going under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.